Alright, so we have another Chewy unboxing, and this is the third time that I'm trying to record this one. Because as you will see in some videos that are posted, I actually got some surprises from Chewy. But this time, it is actually my order. <laughs> and yeah, at least I'm pretty positive. <laughs> see you, girl. Helping me open the box, we have Remy right here. We have Eddie. Over here. Hey, y'all. Here's Dexter. Dexter's hiding from Zeep out there. Dexter. Hi. What are you doing, little babies? Come on, get out. Get out. Boy. Yeah. All right, so we have, I don't actually know how to pronounce this. But I'm pretty sure it's styptic powder. It's for their nails when you're grooming them. If you accidentally get where they're bleeding, then this helps close it up. And sometimes with Remy's nails, it's hard for me to tell because they're darker. And so I figured I would get a container of this just in case. And then I actually got these on sale. It is six rolls of poop bags because Ziva will need them since she goes out places. And these are the Arm & Hammer bags. I think they're originally like $10, but I got them for like six, I think, because I went through the daily deals to get them. So that was pretty cool. There's blue, silver, and then what looks like it's supposed to be a black, but it's like kind of like a really, really dark grayish. Even though we don't need that. <laughs> and then I'm really excited about this. What are you doing, Ziva? Okay. This is the Tough Mat Train and Treat Bag. It says, train and treat your best friend with convenience and style. Great for walks, travel, and play, too. Now, Ziva has started puppy training class, and for those of you who don't know, she's going to be training to be a service dog. So, this will be helpful. That's so cool. Sweet, so now I have even more. And then there is this belt, this little buckle, so that you can wear it different ways. Ziva girl! Eddie, what are you doing? And up at the front, it has a little zipper pouch to hold stuff. And it is gray, like, it's like a reflective gray, but it's not reflective, if that makes sense. It's, the light just kind of naturally bounces off of it a little bit. I don't know what to call that. And then it's got a very, very light gray inside. What are you doing, babies? And then in the back, there's a little container for the poop bags, and then it, they come out there. Can you guys be nice? And then in the middle, we have a spot for the treats. And it's just open, so easy access. Excuse me, leave them alone. 
and then there's this nice sturdy clip on the back to hook to your pants. My sister got me, before we got Dexter, my sister got Remy a little food organizer, excuse me, for my birthday. And then when I got Dexter, my sister got me another one. And then she got Eddie one. And now that I have Ziva, you know, it's been a while and uh, we haven't gotten one yet because, you know. But then she helped me get this order because she had a $15 off thing, so it kind of worked with this. Actually, this weird setup where Dexter's dry food is in a cat bag in my closet. Hi. And then his wet food is in a small, one of the small red food containers that's labeled Dexter. And then Remy's food in the big red container labeled Remy. His dry food's in there, and then his treats are in the little red container labeled Remy. But, in the big red container, labeled Dexter, is actually Ziva's puppy food, because I had to mix hers, so I couldn't leave it in the bags, really, where Dexter's I could. So everything is labeled wrong, but yet some things are labeled right. It just makes, like, so much more complicated. For now, I finally get to have a new one, which means I get to label them correctly. I believe this is pronounced Iris, the brand. our boys and she's a girl. I was thinking maybe do like a girlier color, but then I figured I would just make them all match. It would make life easier. Plus, I just like how these ones look. Okay. So this is the little one that can be used for treats, leashes, really anything. You silly girl. It smells very strong opening it. I don't even know what it smells like. But it, whatever it is, it smells strong. I don't know if it's packaging or, or what, but I might have to let it air out outside for a little bit. And then it comes with a little food scooper that has measuring labels inside. for the bottom, but I don't remember having two sets of wheels in the other ones, but maybe, I don't know. Really, I only put one of them together, so. So I could just be remembering wrong. And there's just the bag too. So then, right here, I will have it labeled saying Ziva, and on this one, I'll have it labeled. And then her food will be in here. And then just, the, we have a lot of dog treats, so I'll probably put the overflow dog treats into this. Or like her training treats, or her training pouch, that sort of thing. I 
wheels. I don't know if it's just like backup in case it break or in case like some break or if honestly I have no clue. Because it's not like there's an option for it to go into this. Not that I would put it there anyways, but no, I guess it doesn't hurt, especially saying as we now have four of these containers. Plus my sisters have them, so extra wheels won't hurt. Thanks for watching.